Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today. Still Dale. I'm still Dale. And we have two boxes. Yay! UPS to the rescue. So let's open these up and see what we got. In spite of a foot of snow that we got overnight. A foot. Right. A foot of snow. <laughs> it's wonderful. And it's still snowing. It'll be gone by the morning. We'll have it plowed. It's fine. Are you gonna get hurt? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my um, Scentsy Club came in. Oh, I was not planning on that. All right, so let's stop cotton cleanups. Okay, so I'm not trying to be negative, <laughs> but I personally can't afford four packages when when they're. Um, going from $6 to $10 in the next catalog, so February 1st. So, um, four packages is $24. Well, I was kind of getting, I still have a box of these, a small box, but I was like, okay, so I can just reduce this down to three and pay like 18. Well, now that they're going to 20 <laughs> for two instead of, you know, 10 for two is 20 versus three for six is 18. Like I can do the 20, but I'm not doing like $40 or $30 even. So I'll be reducing mine to two, maybe even one, because that's just too much for me personally. Um, I understand cotton's at an all time high, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I have the whiff box and, some, and my wax for the month. And this is a surprise, I was not expecting this. So we'll do this in a minute. So if you want to stick around for my monthly club, there's three cotton Should cleanups. Set these aside? Sure. <laughs> Some wax and um, my whip box. My whip box was my half off price, so I paid $15 for that. But the one that I knew was coming, and I thought they separated into two. Um, so that was a surprise. I wasn't tracking that one. Um, so, sorry about the paper. I got my bag of testers for the new catalog season. So um, I'll go through a video maybe tomorrow of my thoughts on that, what's not coming back, what's coming back, what's going in my club. Plus we'll do a club edit. That'll be fun on <laughs> a really long video. So in a transistor kit, transition kit, um, I got um, stickers, okay. So I got one of each of the 10 new scents. So I got stickers for those, um, for Rub and Sniff stickers. And I also got the product training guide um, for consultants. I got, oh, I ordered my Valentine stuff. It must be in the box with all the wax, but I got 25 catalogs for now. And we'll go through that. <laughs> And then I got a product list, a um, bunch of these. Now I like to, when I send scent of the month, I like to send these with every single one so that um, I'm not sending them a catalog every time, but they're still getting this kind of in their hands every time to be reminded of all the cool things. So I got that in a box of wax. Now the Valentine's Day should be in here, plus the 10 new scents of the season kit. I both got that, but okay. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> All right, let's dig in here, more paper. <laughs> My daughter, I like to send these to her because they won Groundhog there. Um, his name is Cheat, well, he's a prairie dog, sorry. This is at the wildlife park she works at. Tanzanica Wildlife Park. Um, Tanzanica Zoo, wildlife hmm. park, whatever. Wildlife um, park. The little groundhog likes to use these, so I just send her a box full of paper. <laughs> Yay, so here's the Valentine's Day ones. And then I have the 10 new scents. So we'll go through those. So bear with me here. So let's really quick first go through the Valentine's Day ones. And um, the first one is going to be Together Forever. A burst of apple and strawberry with an enduring hint of sweet pea. Hmm. Interesting. 
It's pretty. Apple, strawberry, and sweet pea. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a nice scent. These are cold. It's really cold. cold out, like in the teens. This is nice. I'm trying to see if I, you see what you can get from it. Cool. What do you get? What do you get those? It's floral. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's like a sweet floral. Um, I don't know that I distinctly pick out sweet pea, strawberry, or apple, but it's like a sweet floral. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of like sweet but fierce or like with grace kind of a thing. Like those kind of typical perfumey kind of floral scents, um, like a sweet floral. It's very floral to me, yeah. I was trying to find apple and strawberry. And, yeah, they mixed mm -hmm. it really well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like over, it's it's more floral mm -hmm. than it is sweet, but it's It's really sweet. nice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'd wear it. It's like body care to me. But um, the next one is going to be You're the One. Cucumber splash and sheer green apple embrace a soothing whisper of aloe vera. Cucumber, green apple, aloe. I smell a green apple. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think I smell that one. This is nice. Is it? I like this one. Yeah. Especially well, the, bottom, that's, the I, bottom. I would say that's the fresh category. Mm. Like this would be floral. This is definitely fresh. Wow, that's really good. This is, I either love fresh or hate fresh. I love this. <laughs> I think if you like aloe water and cucumber, you would like this. Um, maybe Amazon Rain. It's, it's very really, sweet yeah. and fresh. I'm trying to think of another one to compare to. It it reminds me a bit of aloe water and cucumber. That's beautiful. Or like palm trees and ocean breeze. Yeah, that's amazing. That's my favorite. Well, we can rate them. And then the last one is going to be It's Love. Tangy tangerine dances with raspberry blossom beneath a night sky of sparkling sugar. I love the packaging, by the way. Yeah, that's, it really is cute. Now this one is the one that comes in the body care. I kind of wanted to see how I felt about it before I ventured out to the body care. I didn't get the oils yet. <laughs> I have to budget right now. So it's also really refreshing. All of these are have a, like a real refreshing, but the tangerine, yeah, very much. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, this is really mm -hmm. candy, yummy. Yeah. So like sugar pink haze, um, if you like those, you'd like this. Even like keep it sassy from the Glamorous You collection. It's almost like fruit punchy. That's I really like it. It's very refreshing. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Like I love that. So me personally, probably these two are my favorite, followed by this one. I like all three, but this is definitely the more floral. Mm -hmm. What about you? I think that the one that I like the, the most fresh. now is this one. The you're the one. And then it's love next. And I agree, even though I really do like Together Forever. We tend to align most of the time. Most of the time. I like that just fine. But yeah, out of it's the not, three, it's... But it's not the, that fresh burst, you know, that these are. These are totally <laughs> staying in my club. Mm -hmm. And look how much they match. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one might even have a hint of rose. It's a sweet pea strawberry. Apple. Almost kind of smells slightly rosy. Slightly. But yeah, I these two are winners. <laughs> um, so that's the Valentine's Day. Next we're gonna go to um I gotta find the scent notes for them of the 10 new scents of the season. So uh oops. So let me find those super quick. Guys. While she's finding that, just want to wish everybody a good Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's a
it's a very important day for us to to be thinking about it. So have a great day in that in that sense. Yep. Got them? Right. Yeah. You're gonna give me the titles. So the first one is gonna be Apple Teeny Splash. Green apple and is that Nashi or Nashi? Nashi pear stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. And mm. oh, I don't have the categories these are in, but oh, yes, I do. The new catalog. Hold on. <laughs> Hold the phone. I think that one's fruity, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that one's fruity. It is. I could have told you without <laughs> looking. Oh, this is lovely i like apple stuff and this is this is a great combination of things i'm not sure what it's just a type of no the, no the syrup part of it oh that's like you know my fruity alcoholic drinks that i like yeah like no, it's, it's called sour. apple teeny <laughs> the simple there syrup is, is what makes up the midori sour too oh i'll just have tea yeah that's like a fresh green apple with like it really does huh? very nice Almost like Jack's Obsession green apple with almost like a greenery. I have birds outside the window. Like a greenery note. Um, almost like a, almost kind of like the rind with it too. Mm -hmm. The rind, the, pe the peel with the green apple. Yeah. I, That's really yeah. nice. I like that one. I do too. <laughs> um, the next one is going to be Clementine Cupcake. A warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. Excited about this one. I love packaging. <laughs> they do such a good job on the packaging most of the time. What do you get? Yeah, I mean, you can smell the cupcake. Mostly cupcake. I've heard that. Mostly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is very vanilla cupcake. Oh, and then you do... You know what this reminds me of? The orange Twinkies. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of an yeah. orange Twinkie. Things I don't even think about. I love time. Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> orange Twinkie right I there. I've had a Twinkie for so long I don't remember. Because they're not like super orange. They just have that hint of orange with the cupcake. Mm, that's an orange Twinkie. <laughs> totally. All right. Um, the next one is going to be oh, the one that Robin said. Robin H on YouTube. Check her out. Um, she said that I would like this one. She'd be surprised if I don't. It's cocoa nuts for coconuts. Cocoa nuts for coconuts. An ocean breeze weaves along the coastline, lush with wild coconut tiara flavor. Flower. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. tiara. And it's tiara or. TR. TR, yeah, yeah, TR. And just so you know, I looked that up because I'm like, how do you say that? <laughs> uh, <You know>. And <laughs> um, it's also a white gardenia, a Tahitian mm -hmm. white gardenia. So, it's their national flower in Tahiti. Gardenias are like my favorite thing. I love lush gardenia, so I'm hoping <laughs> I love this one. Super excited. <laughs> do you like it? It's really good. <laughs> It's really good. Oh. I'm so glad that it's that good. Yes, Robin. <laughs> That's like my new favorite thing. That's really good. I personally think the gardenia is like so soft. It almost kind of makes like a banana. Mm. To me, it's a little bit coconut banana. No? I didn't get that, no. What do you get? I get, I, I just get this... Uh, Slightly um, suntan lotion, like, what is it, Hawaiian Tropic. Um, but it does have that little hint of gardenia, especially in the clam. Yeah, I, oh, it's, it's really gosh. nice. It's just oh. really good. I That's definitely, beautiful. I get, I smell I, the coconut. I get that. So like coconut, think coconut gardenia, but the gardenia is soft. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> and I love the brown and the yellow. That's cool. So that's, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, the next one is going to be Daydream Oasis. Lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> so Clementine Cupcake was obviously bakery. Cocoa for coconuts was fresh category. And this is? It almost say floral. Not fresh. Yeah, I mean, it's fresh to me, but it might be a little too floral for some people. I don't know. I like that one. This one is going to be fresh category as well. I think I might like all of them. <laughs> This is this is really similar. Ooh. And it's really not it, it's very nice, but it's really similar to cocoa. Oh, that's like perfumey. Mm. But sweet. Oh. <coughs> I don't even know that I per se get melon. I think the water lily pear leaf makes it kind of perfumey. And the sweet melon makes it sweeter. That's beautiful. It's like nice. shampoo to me. Mm -hmm. Or like, a re I would wear that as perfume. That's almost like, that's a girly perfume I'd wear. Almost like Clinique Happy kind of girly. Or like um, Juicy Couture. Um, <laughs> Viva La Juicy. <laughs> any, any perfume people out there? Yeah, Juicy Couture. I think it's more Juicy Couture. So if you like Juicy Couture, mm, yeah. Um, <laughs> Daydream Oasis, man, these are all like, it's it, really it, good so far. It's going to be hard to pick my favorite. Yeah. Um, so the next one's going to be Paradise Petals and this is, um, flow, floral. <laughs> is that Neroli? Is that how you say yep, that? Neroli, Neroli and orange zest beckon from a utopia of tropical white blooms. I just like the word utopia. The packaging is killer. Um, I kind of think Neroli, I'm pretty sure, is like an orangey kind of perfume. Don't quote me on that. Hmm. What's the category? Um, floral. Neroli, they use in perfume a lot. Hmm. I believe it's a sweet perfume. So the, the orange is really a predominant scent oh, to me. you guys. Mm -hmm. This makes my floral loving happy, or heart happy. <laughs> floral loving heart happy. Man, these are all perfumey things I would wear. Except maybe the apple. Wow. But you would drink the apple. That's so good. Why do I feel like all of these, and these are only six so far. <laughs> well, maybe not the apple, but... The other four are totally five. going in my club. I know. This is the fifth one. Four out of the five so far are yeah. club worthy for me. Like, I would kick things out for these. <laughs> they're really good. Man. I don't know how they're, they're outdoing Dang. themselves here. I think you've got to love floral to do this, but it's a, it's a sweet floral. I'd wear that, too. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is going to be pineapple mango, and it's fruity. Bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango, softened by passion flower. So I'm really excited about mango. I've spent a good deal of time in the Philippines where oh, mango I'm... is amazing. Yeah, mango is amazing. I yeah. heard you. <laughs> but I mean, I I saw a fruit like a slice of it's citrus. I was thinking fruity when I saw a piece of like an orange slice. I wasn't thinking citrus. It's citrus. Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> fruity is the strawberry. <laughs> Citrus. Okay, so I have to say, um, staying in a hotel room in, I think it was Cebu City in the Philippines, beautiful area, and there was a basket from the people that were hosting me, I was speaking there, and there was a basket from those people, and, um, and it, had, it was a basket full of mangoes. I and love that's mangoes. what this smells like. This I is really them. beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's... I love pineapple and mango, and that nails it. That's really good. No. I, this is, like, impossible. I think if you don't like pineapple, you might not like this, because it's strong on the pineapple, but I also smell, like... 
mango. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more mango than pineapple, but the combination for me is really nice. I love that kind of scent. Uh, if you like pineapple pucker, I think you'll like this. I just like Go, Maybe cocoa. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. The next one, fruity, is pink rhubarb sugar. Pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. Excited about them all. <laughs> My club, you guys. <laughs> Luckily, these don't have to go in my club, but come July, these will be going in my clubs, most all of them. I found the first one I'm not a real huge fan of, but it's okay. Oh, see, I don't mind it. Well, uh, there's a difference between I don't mind it and I'm head over heels. It reminds me of like a cherry or a strawberry sucker. Yeah, that's a good description. That is a good description. Or like pink poinsettia. Remember pink poinsettia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Um, also, I like it just fine. It's also probably along with the apple, not like super club worthy, but I'm going to enjoy this. Because I like suckers. <laughs> Lollipops, whatever you want to call them. Um, shoreline Dry. This is going to be a fresh one. Take the scenic route with dewy greens. I'm sorry, dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. Oh, they're like leaves. Like, what is that? <laughs> like, the stripes are cute. Oh, really cute texture. Dewey, I like this. Three greens, passion, flower, and sea mist. I think it was Casey Houghton that said um, it's this one, I think, is the one that's like sand swept, and I love sand swept. I smell the sea. I see a similarity. Hmm. But um, it's almost slightly cologne y. Almost oh, slightly a, a men's cologne. Mm. Slightly. Like uh, NHL Fresh Ice. Uh, if you like NHL Fresh Ice, you might like this. It's got that same slight cologne note. It's very fresh. It's really, yeah, it's, it's a very fresh thing. I, I the, this, the sea mist, that's what stands out yeah. to me. Yeah. It's like sure a better, ver it's better than by the sea. I don't like that one. Sorry if you do. Oh, that's, that's good. I, if you like sand swept, if you like NHL fresh ice, try this. That's good. That's, that's nice. I like that one. <laughs> uh, the next one is going to be summer moonlight and this is fruity. Fresh strawberries sparkle alongside sweet pea and shimmering sandalwood. It has sandalwood. They probably got me on that one. I love. You should clear our palette. <laughs> on the top, the sandalwood. On the bottom, I <laughs> that's where I'm really getting the strawberries. Mm. Yep. It's really nice. It's very pleasant. Oh. I like that one too. That's good. I don't always love strawberry, but I love that. Look at that pretty mauve color. Orchid almost. Oh. Again, that's a good perfume. But it's not really floral per se. It's very sweet. That's beautiful. I'm trying to think of something to compare that to. Maybe keep it sassy from Glamorous You. That's really, really good. If you like sweet pea, if you like strawberry, I think you're really Really gonna love that. That's really good. <laughs> um, did 
was it Lacey that said that was her favorite? I don't remember. Um, with Hand in the Month with Dan. Okay, the last one that I'm super excited about um, is Woods, and it's White Amber Antique. Alluring Amber Antique Flirt with Fresh Bergamot. What's category again? Woods, like cologne, usually. Yeah, that's what it smells like to me. Like cologne trees. Yeah, it smells like cologne. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. This was um, compared to, um, I think it was Casey as well, Casey Hilton. They said this is like sheer leather. I think um, hmm. Robin, I think he said that too. That is like sheer leather. I think hmm. when they got rid of sheer leather, they came out with this. It's very much like sheer leather. Like, um, I, I love Abercrombie and Fitch, Fierce, um, Hollister. I like the Teeny Bopper clothing store. Teeny Bopper? <laughs> I don't care. But you made me wear it. I know, it's good. Oh. <laughs> like, Young huh. Man Cologne. There you go. Mm. So, man. if you like um, sheer leather, if you like Abercrombie and Fitch, Fierce, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's that's good that's really good i like yeah that's that's amazing <laughs> um hmm, that might even replace i don't know i have to i have to do a side by side on that and sheer weather uh, robin that's another idea <laughs> i'll be sending you a message um so pick your top five we'll do five well uh, do six because uh, a six pack what the heck Okay. Well, that's a lot because I'm, I'm in my brain. Well, I just want to go. I know this one you didn't love. That was the rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> but but I know what so I want to do. No, what I, what I, I, I'm not allowed to take you in the voting booth with me. So uh, the one that I was, I'm trying you to see the name of it. No, I know, but I gotta find it. Okay, so this is, I'm going to try to put these in the order that I like them in. And I'm looking at the descriptions because it helps me remember them. like them all. There's not one I don't like. A surprise. <laughs> I'm not helpful, you guys. I like everything pretty much. Okay, so. Hmm. I like it though. It's just Johnny Appleseed. You'd like that. Oh, Robin, another idea. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go in reverse order. Number six for Dr. Dale. Uh, Daydream Oasis. Oh, it's really nice. Really, really nice. Yep, 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 yep. That's my number six. Number five. Is that it? Right? Yeah. Number five, Clementine Cupcake, which I smell the cupcake. I like that one. Number four on our countdown, Shoreline Drive. I like the, the sea mist. Mm, yeah, I really like that. That's really good. Number three coming in, Paradise Petals. And what I really like in this one is the orange, but I'm smelling it a second time and the orange, now I'm really, I'm really smelling the, uh, the flower. The white blooms. Yeah. They're only 
and and the orange so i really like that that's that's great and then the, my number two and this was a tough one between these um um cuckoo for cocoa puffs no uh cocoa nuts for coconuts <laughs> cocoa yeah oh my goodness yes okay and then my number one selection is pineapple mango as you probably could have guessed Oh man, this is so good. This is good enough to eat. We don't recommend it. It's really good. That's my number one. Yeah, you tend to like the citrus fruity. I do. A lot. Yeah. It's hard, you guys. Hmm. I have to say that all of them are outstanding. Even the one you say that I really didn't like a lot was still really good. It is interesting, you guys. Okay, so my favorites, <laughs> the top two are fresh. Because, <laughs> like I said, when I love it, I love it. Um, so my favorite, my my number six favorite um, is um, Clementine Cupcake Bakery Girl. <laughs> um, my next favorite, surprisingly, uh, number four is um, Summer Moonlight. I really like that one. Um, like a sweet, pretty, like a little bit floral. Mm -hmm. um, that one's really good. And then my number three, no, my number five <laughs> is cocoa for coconuts or cocoa nuts for coconuts. Oh, I love that. Me too. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, it's kind of tied with um, white amber antique, <laughs> the dupe for. Um, I don't know, these these two could swap places easily because I'm crazy about those. Um, and that that's a fresh too. I picked all three of the fresh. <laughs> so did you. Interesting, that's very interesting. Um, and then my next, my fifth favorite is Shoreline Drive. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's good. And then my very first favorite is the same as yours, I think. Daydream Oasis. Um, dang, that's really good. That's yeah. your number six or number one? My number one. Oh, okay. No, mine number, is pineapple mango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two. Oh, it's so hard. Three. <laughs> four. Five. And six. And the only one that I think we differ on is Summer Moonlight. Oh no, you didn't like the white, teak, white amber and teak as much. Like I picked white amber and teak and Summer oh, Moonlight. I like it, but... And you took Paradise Petals and Pineapple Mango. Pineapple Mango is my number one, and number two is Clementine Cupcake. So a little more floral. I'm sorry, Cocoa for coconuts. I get the floral in that one too. Mm -hmm. oh, Where did Apple Teeny? It's last on my list, but I like it. I like I like yeah, that I and pink too. rhubarb sugar. I like them both. I don't dislike them. I mean, they're both good, but this, this is, is really... a little more generic, lo like lo lollipop. Yeah, this could have been. Wax on my nose. Yeah, and I like this yep. too. I actually might like this more than this. Um, yeah. So you guys, they're all amazing. Like last year, I didn't love Sunsoak Petals, Mad for Villain. Um, pretty much like most of the rest. So I'm impressed, you guys. Yeah, this is an impressive group. So that's the new um, transition scents and the Valentine's Day scents. Um, since we're going, I might as well do my club. <laughs> so if you want to stick around and see what I have in my monthly club um well, let's do a separate video um just because if people don't want to see that or they just want to see that so um so here's our take on the 10 new um spring summer 2022 scents and the Valentine's day collection so stay tuned we'll do we'll split this video and do the next one um of my club in the whip box so see you in we'll a minute be right back <laughs>